I have now the Bamboo Labs P1S for more than a year and I was thinking about upgrading this P1S into a more superior one. This screen is a little bit meh. So I want to upgrade this one with something very special from Big 3 Tech. The Panda Touch is going to be added in this video and making this Bamboo Labs P1S a little bit more better and better to read. So let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. This big 3 tech Panda Touch comes with everything you need in order to upgrade your Bamboo Labs P1P and P1S with this amazing display. Everything, even the rubber ducky, is in there. There's a USB cable, some brackets, and some mounting equipment that you would need. So let's install it and let's also prepare the P1S in my case. So remove the glass cover and underneath you have a USB port. Well, if you didn't know it, now you know. This cable is going to be attached right underneath and you have to be very careful in order to install the USB right into the USB port from the P1S. There's also a little gap in between so make sure that you put the wire right underneath so that it doesn't collapse with the tool head. So the bracket you want to make sure that everything is well aligned. Screw in the plastic bracket to the metal bracket and make sure that everything is well tightened. I wanted to make sure that everything is aligned before taking the adhesion off. Don't forget that. After that I reinstalled it and made sure that everything is sticking well to the frame of the P1S. Then we are going to put the USB-C into the right port behind the bracket. I also made a little loop so that everything is well tucked away. The loose cable, we need to find something in the future. Now we are going to make sure that we are going to put the switch into battery. So if you take it off, that the screen works as well. Now we are going to set up the software inside of the display or on the display. Make sure to set it to your right Wi-Fi network and then also check your Bamboo Labs. In the network settings there you will find a little access key and that one you need to enter. It's called the access code. After that you press confirm and now you can access with the screen your P1P or P1S. Well, after this, everything seems to be working very fine and I'm happy with the result. Put in a USB thumb drive. I need to mention that you have to read very carefully the instruction that is also in the link in the description of this video, how you need to set up everything. Because in every kind of situation, there is a way to set your P1P or P1S up with this Panda Touch screen. In my case, this is working fine. And check out the link in the description where you can find all you need to know for your Panda Touch. And now I can continue printing the thing that I love. Some cute anime girl. I mean, some serious YouTube stuff. Like things you can put on the wall. Yeah, serious. I'm going to put YouTube on the wall. And also, if you are a supporter of this YouTube channel, you can also get your name on the wall as well. Oh, and by the way, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't saw, saw the hints, in the video before subscribe like this video and i will see you in the next one